Hey guys, today I'll be showing you how to add stats page to your bomb squad server. Okay, so this is going to be a very basic stats page which will just show the amount of kills a player has done, also their names and all. Though you won't be able to see anything else like amount of death, suicides and all. Only the kills the player has done, uh, no points either. Just the deaths. So this is the file that you're going to need. It will be in the description. Just download it. Okay. So first thing you'll need is the uh, is a mouse or server, of course. We will start our server. Okay. Before starting, we'll have to add the stats page and get the permission, and also install Apache. Okay. So just. Copy your IP before doing anything else. First thing is copy it, you'll need it later. Okay, so first we'll do a basic thing. Yeah. Go in the bomb squad server and paste your IP in the stats URL over here. So what this is going to do is I think you understand what it's going to do. If you paste your IP over here then the person who taps on the stats page, stats button on the bomb squad server will be redirected to your um, stats page that's going to be on the browser. And just save it and close this. Then what you need to do is paste that stats file in scripts. Okay, so this is the file. You just uh, just copy it. Okay, so it's moved now. Should be somewhere below. Yeah. Okay, there it is. Okay, so the file is in. So now all we have to do is install Apache and all. Okay, so okay, let's set the server first. Okay, so first we'll start the IP and give it an upgrade. Okay, so the next thing you have to do is install Apache and for that the command is okay. That's installing Apache on your IP All right, so it's installed so okay I'll be showing you an error before anything else okay so this basically has started Apache on your server so if you were to visit your IP right now then it should show something over there okay what's my IP again copy just paste your IP over there Okay, so this is what it will show if the server isn't hosted but the Apache has been installed. i just read it later. Okay, so that means the Apache is working. So next, we'll have to host the server itself. Okay, let's do it. Okay, the server is ready. So the thing is, uh, this uh, the points or the kills will be updated when the player has completed one game in it, one game has and completed one map and the amount of kills he has done. So I keep the terminal on over here and we'll check the game. Yeah. So once uh, one match or one map has been completed on your server. 
it should basically work most of the times uh, it depends on the cloud service you are using basically so i'm using aws and i'm getting this error permission denied so what you have to do here is just give it a permission and there's a command for it all you have to do is just input it so close your server and you have to type the command to give the permission then it should work perfectly fine if so you this command is okay so here's the thing here you're supposed to type your username that is this one if you're using root then type root over there mine is ubuntu so i'm going to type ubuntu over there that's it and hit enter okay so the permission is given now now just host the server again Alright, so once the server is hosted, then all you have to do is go and play another game and then the stats should be working. Alright, so once the game is completed, you'll get this message over here that it's working at X, Y, Z, kills and all. Okay, so I just played from a mobile and I was alone so I didn't do any kills, so I just saying I did one kill. So let's check the website now. Just, just hit refresh and okay so that's my mobile id and apparently i committed all suicides so it says zero kills and that's the that's i think the most used id on my account that's why showing this so that's the basic way to do it and it will keep working continuously so you can just close it if another map is completed it will keep uh, keep showing at it so xyz kills and all also yeah some other things uh if you want to edit some things in the html page or anything or if you want to reset the score or something then just go to your root directory go inside var over here and then move to www and html over here okay so in this if you were to delete this file just delete it completely then all the stats on your page are going to reset it's going to be like all zero zero completely blank right just now I just played alone on the server so it's just showing my name so if I if I were to delete that and refresh it the, this name will also be gone so that's how it is an index I guess index I'll tell you about in the next video if you need it or anything and that's it for the video I guess I hope you got it it's an easy way to do it if you want to know again if you want to go back to your uh, it should be in the, yeah, yeah. So that's all guys, thanks for watching.